So I've read the instructions on the internet and it says that you want to take all of the removable parts out and wash them thoroughly. So that's what I'm about to do. So to take out the bread basket or whatever you want to call it, you twist it and you lift it straight up. There's also the kneading device inside which can be twisted and pulled straight out. After some of the other videos on the internet I've watched, I have decided that I'm going to add my ingredients on the counter and then put it in my bread maker because I do not want to make a mess all on the outside of my bread maker. I'd like to keep it clean. I decided to use a bread kit for my first experience with the bread maker, figuring this would be like gamer level easy mode, right? <laughs> Learning mode. Learning mode bread. I've got my learning easy mode bread ingredients out of the box and in the instructions said over and over again follow the directions exactly in the order so that's what I'm about to do. So the instructions and the package said all I need is water but that's a lie because I also need a big mixing bowl so I had to go get a bowl. So I've now combined the yeast and the sugar in my bowl with three cups of warm water and I'm supposed to let it sit for three minutes. So I got my timer. It's not been three minutes yet but the instructions say the yeast is activated when it starts to foam. I wasn't expecting it to really do that. That's kind of cool. Look at that. On closer examination it was one cup of warm water, not three. So I took a spoon and scooped out the yeast and put it in my measuring cup and poured the water from my big bowl in the measuring cup until I had one cup and we're just gonna hope that doesn't screw up the bread too much. So I'm, I put it in the bread maker and we're just gonna pretend this didn't happen. I have a lot of back pain. I'm not stupid. I'm just not feeling good and I should have waited till I was having a better day. The instructions for converting this mix to a bread machine can be found at simplyhomemadebreads.com under... I'm not sure now because it took me fucking forever to find it, but there it is in case you can read it. Now I'm supposed to program this thing and the instructions are on page 8. Okay, I'm going to tell you these instructions are not any fucking help whatsoever. I have discovered that if I hit the crust button, there's a little display here that moves from here to here. Then to over here. And I've now finally figured out that that's telling me the different kind of crust I want. So the instructions said that I need the normal, and I'm going to say normal is medium. So I've selected medium crust color. Okay, and by looking at my instructions here, the instructions here, and the printed instructions here, I have now determined that I want 20 minutes. So I'm going to move my timer from 3 minutes, 4 minutes, and oh god, I hope that's minutes. to 20 minutes. God, I hope it's not 20 hours. This could have made more sense. Okay, well it didn't go all the way to 20 minutes, so that didn't work. It doesn't seem to go lower than this 320 thing I've got here, so is that the cooking speed? I'm so confused. Ah, uh, that's for the delay. I don't want a delay on this. So I guess that's a 3 minute and tw three, uh, 3 hour and 20 minutes? three minutes and 20 second delay. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So, you know what? At this point, I've made up enough. I made enough fuck up. So I'm just going to hit start and hope it doesn't fucking blow up. Okay, it made a scary sound. Okay, I think it's kneading the bread. And at this point, as long as it's not blowing up my fucking house, I think I'm happy. And if I have bread that's edible when I'm done, I'm going to be even happier. But right now, my back hurts and I'm giving a less of a fuck about this. So, follow along with me to see what happens. It also occurs to me now that 
Yeah, that's only been like a minute that I have no idea when this is going to be finished. Because I really don't know where the timer is. So, if that's the timer, that's a long time or not enough time. So, uh, shit, I don't know what's going to happen here. So that's a minute, I think. So, three hours and 19 minutes delay? Cook time? What? Whatever. I'm going to wander away and hope my house doesn't burn down. It's been going for about 15 minutes now, so I'm thinking it's going to be three hours till bread and not an hour like the box said. An alarm go off, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do about it, and the counter's still going, so maybe it doesn't matter? Not that much time has elapsed still, so I'm still not sure what the hell I'm doing. According to the instructions here, as soon as it's done kneading, it'll start baking, and then when it's done baking, it'll beep, but I had a beep before it was done kneading, and it hasn't started baking, so I don't know what the hell's happening. Another half an hour has gone by, and I th cannot tell if it's cooking, or if it's doing a damn thing. I can tell it's on. That's about it. Yep. Am I going to have bread or moldy dough? God knows. More time has passed. It is still not even remotely warm. I'm afraid to open the lid. I don't know what it's counting down. Still unknown if I'm going to have bread or moldy dough. But the bad news is, <coughs> is it's uh, 8.30 at night. And if this is accurate, I've got another hour and 40 minutes to go with another 20 minutes of cooling time, meaning that it's not going to be done until it's well after my bedtime. So I'm going to either wake up to very moldy dough or very cold bread. Getting pretty fucking tired, but it feels like it's making bread and the crazy part is, is I fucking smell bread. So, yay for no moldy dough and actually getting bread out of this sucker. I got six minutes to go, it looks like. Then I gotta shake it out on a something. Let it cool for 20 minutes. And then it can be cut. And it is late. So, this is as excited as I'm gonna sound. Okay, hallelujah, the timer has gone off. Let's see what's inside. Holy crap! Looks like bread! I went and got the oven mitts and lifted the little metal bucket thing, you know, the bread that, the, where the bread cooks, out. Dumped it upside down, came out in one solid piece. That was pretty cool. Uh, well, fuck, it worked! I don't know why the hell it took so long, I guess. Oh, you know, I remember this now. When making bread with Grandma, we had to, like, let it sit for a while to let it rise or something. It's been a long time since I made bread with Grandma, or I would have probably would have remembered that. So either way, everything looked like it turned out okay. In a bit, I'm going to taste it, and I'm going to see if I fucked it up too bad when I mm, didn't read the directions correctly. Well, it looks like bread. Mm -hmm. Tastes like bread. Nothing like as good as Grandma made, though. 